what parthenolide does is it selectively kills acute monocyclic leukemia cells without killing normal cells. So my research sits as sort of in this area between toxicology, pharmacology, and biochemistry. The compound we work with comes from daisies. This research particularly helps better understand how cells in general respond to stress. That's important in daily life for all organisms, but also in these um, diseases where this system's kind of out of whack. Specifically, I'm doing the hydrogenation of parsinolite. I'm also doing some reactions between parsinolite and BM. I'm looking at the exact spots that parthenolide modifies using a technique called mass spectrometry. I'm looking for mutations in the different genes of HSP70. I personally am looking at gene expression with RT-PCR, especially heat shock protein 70. I just graduated from high school a year ago and now I'm here doing research on leukemia cells as a rising sophomore, which isn't something that I think a lot of people can say. And the extent of the level of research that I'm doing is surprising even to me that I'm already doing it as a 19-year-old. Research training is what's going to push them the furthest in their careers. It will help them get better internships, better jobs, and give them the skills they need to, to succeed. It's a really great environment for your first research experience where you know, you don't have to be afraid to ask questions. Everyone's kind of helping each other out. We're bouncing ideas off of each other. And hopefully we'll be able to create a drug that helps in some form with repressing cancer.